Onivia, League of Legends highlights. It's just really safe to be able to duel back and create disengage with that explosive cast. If you try to dive under the tower at level six, it can be such a problem. Team Liquid now seeing the Recon from the side of Ole. So I think he'll be fine though. Gragas is very, very good at denial. He's gone <laughs> for the grasp, uh, Gragas as well. Uh, APA might be in trouble here. He's caught between everyone oh, and there's just no point to try and flash. That's first blood for Immortals. The distraction. Tweets coming I in. I think we're going to get a red side clear Volibear gank. This is a solo queue specialty. Three camp top side gank here. It is indeed focusing the Volibear, Renekton top side. They both have flash. Good luck, Castle. All right, um, T, how do you play this one out? Castle is trying to chunk out impact, but he's got Max Fury. Gets a little bit of healing there. Umti goes for the stun as well. And he cuts off Castle's escape route with the Sky Splitter. And he flashes in front of the body slam to make sure he's going nowhere. That's a kill for Umti. Well done, General. And it, he's actually so sure about it that he smited the first one. But our oh. mate. Almost always you will save your smite for the later uh -oh. ones. He sees the lanes moving, so he's got to get out Remember, of there. Remember, Umti doesn't have flash. He used it in the top gank against Castle. Our male commits his own to connect the ball breaker onto Umti, but he's still walking away. Impact allows him to get himself out. But the flash from Mask after the body slam from Castle connects onto Umti. Yeah, a little bit too sure about that grub play there. Over vision, timing on uh, starting them up, and support recall came out. Rakan was on the way. As soon as Umti saw Castle move, he was like, uh-oh, I better get out of here. But it was already too late from that flash that you mentioned he, when he used on the uh, first gank from top side. Since there was such a long time, they stayed out on the map there for TL. They go for the reset. Immortals pick up the dragon. Dragons are split. Outside of vision. Explosive charges away. They saw you, buddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, T is going to use the ultimate right onto our mail, and they throw the Kobe down. All oh, so much damage on our mail, and he's got nowhere to run. That's a kill for APA. I mean, yeah. Away one of them, so it wasn't a full six stack on grubs. Tower exploded. APA gets the first brick. Immortals are trying to move in to see if they can cut him off. He has a flash. If he can maybe flash to the Tom Kench and get eaten and swallowed alive as he is saved. Umti is already ulted backwards, but APA might be in trouble. No, it's just Core JJ that gets caught out. A sacrificial lamb to make sure that the mid laner gets out alive. Sacrificial frog as is, and uh, you know Zig scaling here. So let's just go for the tower gold and maybe the kill. Gold. Oh man, Impact just walks past Castle. He's like, I don't care. We're taking down this turret. The turret falls. Castle might be in trouble. Using the ultimate from Umti forces Castle Slash's response. And focus for Mask, that is a lot of burst damage. Yep. We do need to respect Vi Ari. Impact does have Flash. The battle dancing coming in from Ole so he can get in range for the quickness. Gets the charm down. Impact in a world of trouble. 1v3. Looks for the Coal of the Mink, but it's not enough healing. Go. And Mask picks him up. There you go. They get it does there. Look like it's it's not too far off hitting the 225. Uh, I think they'll be they'll be decently happy. And our find Umti. He has Flash available and he gets swallowed up by Core JJ to keep him alive, but they find AP on the backside and there's no way that he gets saved out. The satchel charge does not save him. Mass picks him up. Umti is able to trade one back onto Ole. And now Immortals are on the right side of the flank. Blue buff caught in between. But the rest of Team Liquid, they can look to try and turn around this fight. They still have Yawn to punt out the damage. But they you both have to mark Mask, but you also have to mark Armeo. Volibear and Renekton, it's definitely worth it for them to move in and try and stun Armeo on his Q. Don't let Armeo get the extra distance there. Because if Vi gets in there with a Q flash or something, Oh, they're starting. They're looking for it. Poor JJ already swallowing up APA, but Umpty is taken as prisoner for the side of the mortals. Bomb comes through, gets some damage down, but Poor JJ might be in trouble. Impact stands in front. The rest of the back line, but Mask gets assassinated by APA, and now it's all Team Liquid in this fight. Castle forced to run. Impact already popped the Dominus, and he's going to run him down. Yep, Yon also hit 225 in that fight. It's smoldering time. The executes start coming through. Yon's flying over the wall. They're going to feed him another one. Here comes the stop bubble. Here comes the damage. Yon picks up the execute, and down goes Castle. <laughs> oh, all according to plan. The stacking comes in right in time for that fight. Yon the sacrifice. Well done, General. That small little 143 damage, that doesn't matter. <laughs> he did his job. That's right. And allowed the Ziggs plus Smolder.
Uh, Impact has just been clean with the movement. Ooh. Sidestepping the charm, Mass has got nowhere to run. The mid laner is gone now for Immortals, and they might just turn to do the Baron. Yeah, they certainly will. Huge, huge advantage here. Castle does have teleport, but it's like, why, why even? Fight. He has a control ward in the pit. He has vision. They put two down. They're trying to slow down the fight. 4 JG is engaged on APA with the stasis. Cancels out the season assist. Umti with the ultimate jumps on a, a hole. A tactical finds the assassination of 4 JJ and he's out of there. Immortals have stopped the Baron. Oh, nice counter there. They stop the Baron and they get the kill on the drive by here from tactical. Sees it from. There we go. Oh, Once impact. Again. No flash. Has the Dominus available, currently in a 1v2, but Tactical is also starting to make his way down towards the bot side. So even if Impact survives these two, surely, surely he gets cut off. The Cease and Desist is just gonna try to lock him down here. Tactical will pick up the kill eventually. What can Team Liquid do while this is happening? Really good pick here. Immortals playing the map better, making use of the pick potential. This is a really big part of it, and Immortals, their task is how do we close that range? You know, we pick people off in the side lanes. <laughs> and side lanes, the impact go. is here once again. He has flash, but I don't know if he's gonna escape. The cease and desist connects. They get the slow down from the barrel. Mask is here to guarantee the kill. And once again, Team Liquid are not in position to get anything done on the other side of the map. Dude, look at this jungle. This jungle is lit up with blue wards and immortals just take advantage. They get umpty on the back. Tactical is able to get out. But they have the mid prio here, but Castle is teleported into the mid lane. Maybe he can look for a great barrel onto Yawn, but it just punts him into safety. Not quite the angle they were looking for. That's a huge bomb from APA. Get some decent damage down into Ole, but no one's executed yet. Umti might be forced to save by Core JJ. Gets him out alive. Mass taking a lot of damage, gets executed by Yawn. Not quite the execution they were looking for. There we go, TL. They're gonna take that sign and move right out before they even get up to it. Yeah, APA our... zone him off with the bombs. Nice. And the rest of the Team Liquid members are just burning down the Baron. Our male cannot get in range as he's being punted off. Sub Secured. 1400, that's Baron. Secured for Team Liquid. Here we go. Long some way. You don't want a slingshot comeback here. So they move on down, pick up the dragon. They'll reset. On about 300 and change. This Team Liquid are just gonna start the siege. Tier two turret falls in the top lane. Rest of Immortals hold. But here's, here's the siege. Armeo's looking around. Mask jumps forward, APA dodges the charm. Forced to use the stasis, Core JJ has to swallow him up. Actually, doesn't even need it. He's able to buy enough time. Yon takes the first execute. The second one goes down. It's a five on three. This just could be the push that takes Team Liquid to the playoffs. They're in the base, and they're looking like they're in playoffs. Here they come. Damn the Immortals' resilience and persistence as they make one last ditch effort. Tactical onto the back line with the Killer Instinct. Our male sends it all, but he gets executed by Yawn. Castle falls next. Tactical's the last one, and this will just be the last game of Immortals for the regular season. Team Liquid have the resilience and the fortitude to withstand and unleash Immortals and lock themselves into the playoffs. Calm game from Immortal. Even that, a lot of stuff is open. Is this the River Jarvan return for the Varus? Probably not against Corky. It's, surely it's not Ramus. It's, it's not also red. not the red buff, but he has to be careful because he's still a level one Ivern. They're calling who he over. 753 HP. He tries to walk behind it. He gets the backstab. He claims the red buff. Does he deceive out of there? But he's got nowhere else to run. He's going to buy some time, but surely he will go down. <laughs> And River Shaco not off to the greatest of start. It's a first blood for energy. It's happening again. This is Moon all over again. No. Uh, then yes, that will be the game plan. Hook onto Alum, but he should be fine. Just walking on out thanks to the aftershock passive. Oh, this could actually get dicey here. Huki is going to flash to guarantee the roof from the passive. Ayla punts FBI away, waiting to maybe flash. flash the arrow. Great timing, but another dredge line means that Ayla still goes down. River's going to be here to answer for the gank. Meech has already been chunked to 50% HP, and River now realizes that gank might not be... And stays under tower and uh, get a couple of extra stacks. But yeah, let's see about the bounce back here. 400 thieves. At least River was able to get... Oh. Ooh. 
Oh, that was close. Does he look for the undertow? He pops the ghost. He wants to get in range. Flash connect sniper. This guy just does not miss when it comes to solo kills. Oh, he's got the ghost. So he just runs on in flash auto, gets the level up, finishes off the wave. Look at the wave dying to the tower. Wait a second. Contracts might catch him on the way out. His level six is here for Olaf. Ragnarok, can he survive the 1v2? But the Ignite taking down and they're keeping their distance to make sure that Sniper cannot maximize any chance for comeback. Contracts takes him out. Okay, so at least they, you know, River gets his Profane Hydra. Um, by the way, the Hell of Blades and, and Lethality build for Shaco is so fun for solo queue right now. Uh, Profane Hydra is in a very good spot for solo queue. And burst damage galore. If he's in there with an Olaf running someone down, you've got Ignite, you've got Hell of Blade top rush. They were they were thinking River was there. They check here as well. Uh, Contracts keeps on checking all these corners, oh. but 100 Thieves, four members top. I mean, Doko doesn't have dominance. This is four members committed to the dive. Contracts is trying to beeline back to his top laner to see if he can at least provide a shield, but they just completely demolished Doko in the top lane. Yep. Is that he just expended teleport to come back to the tower, and now he has to walk back he lost to so many minions as now great hook by who he and Meech! Meech is dead! It was so funny watching the mind games in real time. Meech was like, all right, I got this. You know, I'm gonna He's making there. a damn strong case this split. As the dragons have been started up by 100 Thieves, boxes are set up. The flash from who he tries to connect onto Meech, but the fear from the box interrupts halfway through, and who he just might go down to Quinn. FBI forced to flash over the wall. Dragon's still at 3k HP. Sniper pops the Ragnarok. He runs down FBI! single time kobe beautiful uh boxes bait right there i gotta say L lining up the boxes by dragon and then who he hooks right in assuming the fight is not chaotic enough can under energy remind themselves always face shaco so that river doesn't get the empower damage his bot lane there's a dive and good god dokal is just gone again sniper and quit baby linking up for the bottom tower they get the free money as well meets trying to stack up in mid lane Pretty easy little bit of a uh, juke here. They just played down to their bottom side that already won. Honestly, 100 Thieves, Ayla on the reset. Even though Ayla was seen uh, by the ward here through the river, doesn't matter. The goal is Ayla and River here. Dokla, I feel so bad for him, man. He, he literally was in urgent care heading into Super Week, had to power through it, still play for the team, and then every team is camping him. Oh, Rift Tail. Oh. Go, in, go in there, one more auto. He'll just finish it himself. Auto attack it, boom. All right, he's got it. Dragon has spawned at this point in the game. We stated isn't isn't too much cause for concern, um, as they have many other options for scaling here as well. Things are so tense here for energy. Reminder, 100 Thieves. The most that they could play for is first place, but it would have to depend on them winning as well as FlyQuest losing. His contracts is forced to flash, gets caught out by River and Quid, but who he is here for the collapse. Hallucinate already used by River. They try to flash right on top of Quid, but no one is there to follow up, and the Event Horizon is going to keep him stuck. And meanwhile, Sniper just completely took down Palbox in the mid lane. Another kill goes over to Quid. Energy are falling to pieces. 100 Thieves are tearing them apart. It's a massacre. 100 Thieves are rolling them over with Shaco Jungle. Quid gets flashed on again. But the Event Horizon keeps Dokla from being in range, but FBI has necessary to finally take out the raid boss but 100 thieves know that contracts is gone and they are burning down the baron hex played as well he used that to run down power fox in mid lane now power fox wants some revenge uh oh don't go help there's a giant viking he pops the rack rock he looks to burn down power fox he gets one does he look for two who he's brought along for help but the rack oh rock is God. immune to the cc he's burning him down <laughs> the life steal he gets another one and he can burn down who started moving up there sniper turns and fights he's good for two <laughs> what an incredible debut for sniper this split as quid is gonna get locked up by fbi the primordial burst does not do that much damage fbi should be able to win this one dodges out on the w the e finally takes him out energy are really shot all over the game i thought you were just like oh don't show it to me again because it was so brutal but here we go baron <laughs> oh three man knockout from ayla mom comes in from the top rope sniper finds the first one contracts is not long for this world as well the undertow doesn't find it but he takes out 
Huey anyway, and the Baron should be theirs to claim. River burning it down, 2,000 HP. Contract, can he get in? But he's being zoned off by River, the Deceive into the backstab. Dokla tries to fight off Sniper, they find one thanks to the help of Palafox. He Valkyries out, but I don't know if Dokla can get out alive from the rest of 100 of these members. Meech is looking for the damage. Does he have the execute already? Flap Flap comes in, not quite yet, but he doesn't need the execute. It's just enough damage to take out Dokla. Look, Look at Quid, he's not even done. Quid's oh not even done. Oh God, the event horizon, where does it go? Oh my God, it's just the primordial burn. Dokla's Rift is theirs, 7.4-ish the gold lead. Up to 8K now. Playoffs because they're a free win. Yeah. Uh, and JoJo is talking about them being overrated as well. But yeah. 100 Thieves keep on winning. Yeah. JoJo literally said, if I face 100 Thieves in playoffs, I'm celebrating early. <laughs> that That's big words. As we get River forcing Doko to pop the Dominus, River's going to have to run away. Uh, he's not getting out of that one. So 5v4 for energy. Maybe they can hold the line, but two inhibitors have already, fall already fallen from 100 Thieves. My mistake is only just one inhibitor, but they're making short work on the top side of the map. Sniper pressing the charge. Here comes Ayla. They find the knock on the contracts. He flashes out. Ignite taking down. Quinn and Meech still holding the line as well alongside Ayla. Who he goes in for the knockup, but Meech has the execution ready. Mom once again comes through. And they get the inhibitor. They're trying to walk. Also we'll prevent an assassination. But the spotted inhibitor just might fall from 100 Thieves. Couple more auto attacks for the minions and the members. And they're able to do it. Does this story have a contract parent? Not this Baron, nope. but next Baron, next yeah. team fight. They're lying in wait. Level 16 for Palafox. Oh, four item power spike, level 16, Corky. Make one last push. Chain of Corruption, right onto Ayla, and gets stunned up. Doesn't even pop the ultimate because he doesn't care. Takes a lot of poke from FBI in the back end of it. Dredge line does not connect on the quid, but the movement speed, Ayla force the engage, the first exit tower falls, bomb from the top rope once again, the executes are gonna start coming in, the first one goes on to Huhi, Dokla's forced back, Palafox and FBI keeping their distance, they burn down the second Nexus tower, 100 thieves will strip fit away, fade away from Energy's hands, as they look to try and fight for first seed against FlyQuest. All smiles there. It's Kindred, because you can like put a bomb on him and you can you know, push him out of his own Eat ultimate it. and then explodes out of the Kindred ultimate. So it's a lot better now. They kind of like, almost like, you know, gave it to them. Shopify yeah. is focusing the other neutral objective at the same time. That first Drake, Infernal here, five and a half minutes in. It'll be a nice and early one for them, but it will be nine, ten and a half minutes in. Shopify should try to take control of this spot side here, setting a good, a favorable dragon fight. Oh, or just dive fast. Berserker. They just want the dive. They know there's no Kindred to save them this time. Berserker's gonna get bursted down. Zazel should die in response. It'll be a one for one here at the start, but first blood's over to B-Boys Kaisa. Daisy's tanking up the turret as JoJo's got half HP left. Vulcan has joined the fight with a bubble over the wall, but there's no damage for an invade of some sorts, but getting crap. He already yeah. <laughs> there was there was something. <laughs> that was fabulous right now. <laughs> Actually, Boogie keeping Blabber on one mark. Yeah, 14 minutes into the game, it's, it's really, really important. Successful. But you know, just Rufus in the mid tower here. Probably and I think they might be able to get top tower as well at the end of this round. Okay, they are recalling. Expecting the wood here. Yeah. Jinx, he bought like Gale Force, Fire Cannon, Fleet against double tanks. Hang on. Oh boy. Zazel immediately finding an engage here on Blabber, but now he's got to be careful. The calling from Berserker just going to burst this guy down. Blabber ends up taking the kill, and Fudge has made his way into the fight. The Dominus is ready, but Shopify disengage after that. They have lost one, and now Insanity's under pressure. Fudge going in, but doesn't really find a whole lot. The mobility of the Tristana can disengage that, but importantly, JoJo and Fudge now have free reign to knock down this tier one turret here in the top side. Demolish, plus the baby grubbies. This thing's not long for this world, and C9 is gonna go up to a two and a half thousand gold lead. C9, Blabber would want to steal us, but he's got no alt, and no one else is here to go in first. A little heist, perhaps? Okay, this okay. is interesting. That's, a, that's an eco. They want to go for it. The Ivern brushes are up. Fake out in the middle, but Jojo goes in for the engage. He finds Boogie. The burst isn't there in time to kill him, and now Zazel's got to try to play Interceptor. Jojo getting himself back here yet again. He's grabbing the kill on Zazel, but they're going to trade one for one. The Drake is still alive as C9 wants to get the hell away, and they're going to secure the Drake while they do it. They've lost Blabber. They've lost Jojo. They've only traded it back for Zazel. So Shopify wins. Jojo had CDR shoes and his Proto Belt, and you had Stack Shift. Second Dragon timing, and they just gave it. I think that was the best out of fight from my perspective, at least. But you know, I always felt like they needed to complete their items in jungle. Blabber trying to help Fudge get this kill on Fake Up, but it's Udyr, man. He just runs just away. Walks away. Yeah, <laughs> it's just he just walks <laughs> in the other direction. Start right now. And they have damage. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, Shopify onto the Baron. It's already down to 5k. Blabber is nowhere nearby. Zazel goes in for the dredge line on Jojo. Even if he dies, Jojo's not going to find the team fight angle now. Baron drops, but so does the Nautilus. Now, Fake God's got to be careful here on the front line. C9 are trying to keep these guys trapped. Oh, Boogie board. flashes back <laughs> over the wall. B-Boy flashes back over the wall. Fake God has no flash. <laughs> Udir is dead. The sacrificial tiger, bear, phoenix, turtle, whatever all of those animals together are. It's a Baron in exchange. Ten minutes away from oh. potential soul, and they're going to keep the gold even. It's. Oh, I, I feel like that's a weirdly neutral trade because Shopify might have been able to win a third dragon fight. Instead, they play. And it's, yeah. it's just fun, you know, to see him. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 just banter. Yes, yeah, it's just, it's just banter. banter. He's going for Lord Dominic's now, so maybe he heard me. There, there it is, exactly. He could tell. He oh. could tell what's going on here. As now Boogie getting caught out. The burst damage goes through, but Redemption saves him just in the nick of time. Now Vulcan's bursted down by B-Boy, and Insanity finds a nice double knockback. Fake God's made his way in. It's a double kill back over to B-Boy. Shopify Rebellion, our steamrolling Cloud9, as Fudge tries to get away, but Shopify's hungry for dessert. The lizard is burning. And yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're embarrassing ourselves uh, at the moment. <laughs> I was gonna say, why are you guys drawing attention to this? Just <laughs> like, oh, no. it's, uh, it's Lord Dominic, so we got oh, sending a message. Got, got that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Letting them oh. know. Letting them know. But now the engage coming out from Zazel. The catch. The damage. Oh. Jojo barely gets away back in the Lamb's Rest, but looking to keep himself oh. alive with a massive counter attack. Oh. Jojo Pyun again with the clutch for C9. Is that how it ends? You know, no matter what happens, he doesn't get you know afraid to make big plays. Okay, we're seeing awesome. exactly what it happened. Looked really good though. Third Drake, he gets hooked. It was Jojo finding that massive ulti to get C9 the Baron. They're up 3,000 gold now, and they've got the Baron for another minute and 45 more seconds. seconds. I think they're gonna want this turret for gold, but then, like, finding a way to keep deep wards and stop Shopify from having a good setup on the next Drake is gonna have to be top of mind. Aliver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one kept you alive. The second wait, one wait, kept wait. you oh, more alive. Sir. Boogie's nearly dead. Shopify trying to get away now. As the tier two turret's gonna be forced down, and Berserker's ready to go in. Zazel goes straight to his death. Shopify in a 4v5. C9 still pushing up. The Baron's out though, and that is a flash from Berserker. You have to get the tower here, or it's not actually that worth it, I think. Ah. It, ironically, it's not that bad for Shopify. They got the flash on Lucian and Kindred from this fight at yeah. the base. They could push mid and top here at the same time and just go for twin hips. They're tipping for yeah. it. They're going for it. C9 just wants to hard force this. They're saying if you're going to go after the Drake, it's not even spawning for another 15 seconds. C9, grunts. brute force down the tier 3 turret. Fake God coming around from the flank. Jojo finds the knock up on three again. The angle is there. The burst is down. And Shopify's already lost two men, but Jojo expires too. Oh. Now Fudge cuts down B Boy in the 1v1. And Insanity needs to mop him up. A double kill for Blabber. And only Insanity stands on Shopify Rebellion. A TP to try to bring himself back in to defend in time. Insanity has to try to hold this somehow. I don't think he can. 280 carries and a support guy. and a six grubs. It's tough, man. Insanity flashes away from the bubble from the Nami. He wants oh, the burst bro. on Blabber. The bomb's still strapped to his head. Kindred, oh. he dies with a turret shot. Insanity's defense Wait, will it? hold the no line. Way. This is huge. And go for Dragon now, maybe. I think he actually might be able to one, one to them here at Dragon Berserker. That was a window where Shopify could have capitalized, but... I think they were afraid of the open Nexus situation to actually go for Drake. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, He's some actual so damage strong. now. So strong. He's also got the Serpent's Fang as the final item to cut through some of the shielding coming out from the Udi or the Nautilus, the Ivern. The Baron's already down to so 2,000 fast. HP. It's going to be claimed by C9 before Shopify can even get into the area. And because there's nothing else for Shopify to take, C9 are feeling good about making that call. Blabber's actually so strong. 308 CS, 11 oh, Kindred sucks. Marks. Yeah. He's What's that range, like 700 at this point? Jojo, huge engage, finds oh. two, but now B-Boy goes back over the wall with the killer instinct, looking to take him down. Blabber's here on the front, and Lamb's oh, Respirate's already no used. B-Boy finds the kill on Jojo. What looked like it might have been the angle here for Cloud9. It's Shopify's fight to keep going. A snipe nearly kills Blabber, but he barely hangs on. B-Boy making the outplay against Jojo. The cage the circle goes in, looking for the 1v4. Vulcan gets the kill on Fake God, but it's going to oh be traded God. back against Berserker. Can I just push on mid here? They yep. can push a lot, but they don't have yep. Baron, so Blabber, Fudge, and Vulcan can probably suicide to keep these waves alive. It's probably just a few towers, yeah. They have oh 280 carries, though, and Zazel could tank. Dude, There's a chance. Was, that was insane by insanity. The ulti over the wall into b mode Last year, split is over, can be like, oh yeah, that one frame that one where single. Fake God auto attack Berserker, or like that one missed mm -hmm. W. That one time Jordan got back wow. the Kindred ulti.
The culling is just a Gatling gun at this point. Zazel trying to hook away to safety. No, Berserker got him. That might just be the end of the game right now as Insanity has to disengage and B-Boy's running to the safety of the tier three turret. C9 have the Nexus in their eyes. It is only one turret left to protect it. Whoa. Berserker, he wanted to go, but now he got got. Oh. Jojo with the rest to C9, still looking maybe for an angle here. It's still 4v4. Berserker was so hungry for it. MVP is, he's back. He's so back. And he wanted to push front I'm like, no. So we, uh, oh. yesterday, the day before, we had Shopify have to try to answer this. C9 got the Baron already down to one-third HP. They want to just finish this one off. Boogie and Fake God trying to make an entry, but the Baron is already going to be secured by Fudge of all people. Fake God and the rest of Shopify still seeing if there's a way, an angle to try to play the fight. Fudge wants to get away. Fake God chasing after him. Insanity coming around on the side, but the calling nearly cuts him down. Guaranteed. Give it a good find Jody Pyong, there's no way. It's just to so stand up. Zazel doesn't want to hook in because they're gonna... He will die one shot. Yeah, he he'll yeah. die one shot. They're gonna get the inhib for free. I wonder if they just hold and try and get the Nexus turret too. Like, if, if, if they the can just hold this pattern. If the hook isn't like a game winning, he will just ult someone and then Jody flash in and kill everyone. Yep. It's a game winning or game losing hook, most likely. Shopify trying to hold on to the last Nexus turret. There they go. They're looking to find the bird, but the Lamb's respite is going to keep C9 alive. Jojo's ulti doesn't hit anybody. That could be huge, but now C9's looking to fight on back. B-Boy into the back line, but he ain't going to find the kills here just yet. It's nobody dead on Cloud9, but Zerker trying to come back now with the Guardian Angel as C9 disengages. A one-for-one -one trade, but it's Berserker for Zazel, and now C9's going to try to run. They lock down Fake God, but Shopify Rebellion are in hot pursuit. Cloud Blabber Soul. and Fudge both looking to recall. Cloud Soul gives 20% move speed without your ulti even being cast. Boogie flashing in for the root collar, but he doesn't hit it. There's your Void Seeker. Fake God's still going. He's flying like a bat out of hell. Shopify Rebellion find another. Berserker dead. 35 seconds still on that clock. Shopify with a 4v3. Jojo, the Nico ulti, I believe, is almost ready to go again. Shopify still pushing. Daisy, back on the map. They want it. They want to try and end, but they just can't get the minions to the turret. <laughs> Come on, Go Shopify. Let's see what you got, boys. Blabber and Fudge trying it. to defend, but Shopify do not have the push power. The Elder is live on the map. Oh, oh no. no. They got greedy. Oh, my God. What a game. 48 minutes and 49 seconds, Let's and go. I still don't know who the hell's going to win. Three flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find at least <laughs> Split if they win. They can at least get a tiebreaker for playoffs, Someone maybe get it out right. Okay. Just go in and die while everyone else ends the game. 70 seconds left. He can't. Just hook it. on the elder. Back line. The minion waves are just getting destroyed. Fake God's gonna soak the turret here for now. Daisy's going in. Nexus turret number one already down. Now Fake God and the rest of Shopify regrouping, getting ready for the next wave. Sure, hold on, not done. Sure. It, it's probably one of those that's actually in a danger zone. Hold on. 10 seconds on this. TP showing up. The Elder, five seconds left on it. Fake God making his entry back into the fight as Fudge has already used Dominus. Nami wave goes out. Blabber's below half HP. The Nexus turret is not dead yet. Jojo wants the angle. He goes in for the engage on oh, three. Jojo Pyun again and again and again and again. He brings Cloud9 back from the edge. Look at Fudge's face. He's like, oh, he's so relieved. It's finally over. Man. Why didn't they do that hook play before Elder expired? Why did you wait until they expired? The second Elder oh, expired, my. they hook in. JoJo counter engages. And Cloud9 oh, my God. win the banger. Shopify are officially eliminated from playoff contention. In this match, I believe. Yes. Second yes. time you nerfed in yes, it history. Did. And it's definitely not as OP now as it was like two patches ago. It still works, but I don't think it's nearly as But we've called it out that it is possible. Dig some really good top and mid prio here. Okay, Iles just going in. I said, yeah. I expected Varus to be the stronger laner and Dignitas said, hell yeah. Bro, three minute, 30 second, 2v2 kill. They only use Ghost so and much more sustainable. Absolutely, and it's gonna hopefully slingshot Tomo. I mean, he's got the Berserker Greaves already. He's going to consistently shove this in. He's going to be able to maximize your damage and know what's going to kill you and what's not. And they might dive this. They have the Viego here. They don't have eyes on Graves, but they're going. All right. Execute ready for the stun, but Tomo's already killed Masu. Busio now going to be your next target. Isles may just die to the turret. Oh, no. Now Execute has to 
try to get out. Remember, he oh, doesn't have a flash he's anymore. Six. Inspired's ready to follow. It just might be a collateral damage to end up getting both. Inspired, there's the kill on XU, but Tomo lives with 50 HP. Oh man, the timing. It's such a weird start. The, the Swifty Boots in the call, like he can lane, but he can't really team fight. So this grub start is very risky. If there's a 4v4, I think FlyQuest is stronger. Well, Dove wants to challenge him on that. Inspired trying to get away, using the ulti for distance, but Dove's got to be careful. He's only got 400 HP remaining. He has to flash out of the Dawning Shadow. No, but Whoa. Jensen makes a massacre out of him. Spiraling despair, and Dignitas is on the run. Isle should die here, too. Tries to buy himself enough time to make his exit, but no, sir. Whippo's going to run him down, and FlyQuest gets 2 nothing. Just a disaster for Dignitas. They're willing to scrap here, but FlyQuest are hands-checking him right now. Let's see if Jensen Jensen can get away. Flashes, gold cards already in the air. Ooh, nice charm coming in from Dove. Tomo gets the killing spree, and that's what Dignitas wanted to see. Dragon up as well, they can yeah. maybe. It's because you didn't need that mana anyways. Like, that's the <laughs> whole reason like, you throw them out. My E costs no mana, my W costs like 30 or 40 or whatever. Yeah. So. Exactly, it's the W is 50 mana every six seconds, and you just I want to use 60 more of it to do 91 damage. <laughs> 91. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. He's also only got 32 stacks left to go on that call, yeah. down to 28 now, so that'll be cashing in sooner than later. You can see Jensen stacking up the tier here on the way. Pretty easy to spam out spells on this guy. Get that thing, get that thing stacked up nice and easy. X, you did take the second Drake like you were talking about, so nice early lead in that department for Dignitas. Could give them some more breathing room as the game goes forward is another game now with a cloud soul and i actually think yeah. that uh, i was talking to azale about this and he brought up how the thing's just underrated in general because even without the ulti bonus it's just 20 percent move speed yeah 20 percent move speed all the time is insane absolutely i, I also want to shout out tomo in this game as there looks like they're trading turrets like he is giga rich he's 5800 oh. gold it's a thousand above everyone else rich is very fast as well yeah, let's, it was a ghost for a ghost, like Whippo popping the cleanse there. That was the summoner's spellbook trick that they were mm. going to use. Fair enough. But uh, it doesn't end up actually turning into anything. Rich was ready for it, so he can disengage. Yeah, and I think it's all uphill from here for Twist of Fate. The twi the Swifty boost didn't seem like they're doing much now. He can wave clear a lot faster. He's still going to be able to gold card. The ultimate question will still come down to, they have all these reset champions. Can they actually get that first kill before, before Huey and Graves blow everybody up? Rich, overall, like the TF early has looked relatively successful. It's given them a couple looks for potential team fights and he's not been bullied at all and laid by the Uter. Yeah, but 14 minutes in now, plates have finally fallen. This is usually where I start to expect to see larger skirmishes, bigger fights. Yeah. It'll be the third Drake with Dignitas having already got the first couple. You know that it's at least on FlyQuest's radar. Hey, this is a concern if we let them get mm. another one. So that's really will we, where we will get to answer the question that you're posing. Can you get the reset? Can you get through the Tom Kench belly and make sure that your game goes a purpose? Because he'd be able to get a I got a stack. stack. But because he's spellbook, that was completely useless what Whippo did. Still loses the turret anyways. Well, well, they got the ghost. Again, it's ghost for ghost with these top laners. Every time one guy presses the button, the other guy presses the button. Rich, man. Rich is crazy. doing some goofy Fight stuff in. for the Krugs. Rich is uh, away now. He managed to use the ulti as an escape route, and there goes the top okay. catch. Jensen dies to the back end of the Q damage. The Spirit Orb from Ari. Dignitas, nice nicely played across two different situations there. They keep Rich away. The distraction for FlyQuest is enough for the mid lane group to make a move. I absolutely love that, actually. Rich plays like a psycho down bottom. Back yes. some help from Busio. Yeah, FlyQuest have four men here to contest. Jensen has just now respawned. He's going to make his way down. XU has the smite, though. It's going to be a smite fight. It's claimed by Rich, but now he's going to be careful. He's likely to die here. Busio may just drop again, but Inspire's already got the first kill back on the TF. Busio gets away with an abyssal dive. Busio and the rest of FlyQuest are looking for even more, but they've lost Whippo, Tomo, and the Varus. This guy, keep your eyes on him. XU nearly killed by Spiraling Despair, but Severing Bolt can't find the snipe for the execution. Dignitas still trying to get everybody out. Masu in hot pursuit. Oh, Tomo. Oh, no, man. That was always oh, trying. It'll be a one for one there. Make it a two for one at the very end if Isles actually drops. Enough damage comes in through Airy. It's a double kill back over to Jensen. Seven to seven at 19 minutes. He's going to be able to snipe inspired and then somehow turn this fight around. But uh, I think his, his appetite just got a little big there. Uh-oh. I think the critical thing, they gave away the bounties to Hui. So Jensen's online now. 
Dove, nice, interrupt there on the TP. Stops Whippo from joining the fight, but Tomo again is in trouble. Mm. The Varus, when you give all the resources to one guy, that guy's gotta stay alive. There's up. And now both bot laners of Dignitas are dead. The most fed member of Dignitas is dead. 20 minutes and 15 seconds into the game, FlyQuest is on Baron. Okay, with Senna though, they don't kill Baron very fast. Most of the damage comes from Graves and Huey, so it's the top side of Dig trying to stop them here. Well, Rich yes. just gave them food delivery straight to the door. FlyQuest still on the Baron now. XU and Dove cannot approach. It might be slow, but the thing is dropping, and FlyQuest is gonna get a 20-minute Baron. Wow. The last four minutes have been so up and down. Dignitas was, once they got that third Drake, it felt like the last the five minutes as well, so he could be the difference maker in these fights. In terms of straight up 5v5s, mm -hmm. they go for Whippo. Yeah, they want Whippo here, but that's the power okay. of enchanting Everything. the E on the Udir. You're just CC immune. He makes them spend a lot of time doing it, but they still get him. The cost is bottom lane. The tier one turret taken down by FlyQuest, and now they've still got one minion left looking for the tier two. Rich has to flash away to avoid Busio's tongue and keep himself out I mean, of danger as Dignitas still grouped up together here. 5v4. Yeah, Rich is showing up behind him. Dignitas has him cut off. The tier 2 turret is going to die. Isles dredge line to get himself away. He does not want to be blown up before the rest of Dig can back him up. The center route will not find the target, but Donic Shadow! Rich is nearly killed here with a very start. Inspire going off to the side looking for Dove as XU has to disengage away from Spiraling Despair. XU's about to die here first as Inspire drops to the Spirit Orb. A one-for-one -one trade as junglers are both knocked out. Dredge line will not hit the mark as Dignitas are not done yet with the fight. Husio right back next to both his carries. Jensen, Husio, and Masu. They maneuver their way through to not only get multiple turrets, but also deny soul points and we have i think back to back bangers this is doing it my friend rich going after the tier one in the top side he'll claim that bring the gold lead back down below a thousand one more time there's still the tier one standing up here and whippo did not awaken his e in time to buffer through the stun mm -hmm. from rich so rich can explode you yeah there's no true front line so the fact that dignitas isn't ahead now does make it really hard for them to start and that's a lot of damage on the total early but there's exactly what we were talking about it's hard to find those picks when tom kiss is ready for the save and whippo can just run through everybody tomo's gonna be your next target here but whippo dies taking him out it's a one for two as dignitas again are on the losing side of the trade Isles still trying to escape. Bottom, Dove left up into the top side again. The power of the Huey, if you hit Ari with the Severing Bolt, yeah. as low as she was, I think she will be the number one seed in the regular season. That will right. lock them into number one, though, even though they have the same record as 100 Thieves at 10 and 4. Trying to defend. FlyQuest looking for their fifth turret of the game. They'll take out that tier two here in the top lane. They've still got Baron for another 60 seconds or so. Yeah, they're just going to break this. The minions are enchanted. FlyQuest are forcing this. Whippo is such a tank. They're yeah. just going to run Dove over. That is a huge kill. FlyQuest are not stopping. And Rich actually has to come back there. No flash or ultimate able to be used by Dove. FlyQuest, they want to end right here. FlyQuest is going for it. Nexus turret number one is already down. Isles is going to be hit by Spiraling Despair. He may just die. Still it off. There's your snipe. Jensen severs them. And now inspired. The only one even remotely low, but it don't matter. Dash in on top of them on top of them. Now you got XU trying to get away. No, sir. No way. No how. For the first time in LCS history, FlyQuest finishes regular season in first place. Congratulations to FlyQuest. 10 and 4.